Hello and welcome to Sideline. Today our guest is Ms. Sarlang Artaku, Head of the Foreign Relations and PR Department at the Fine Arts Dunbazar Museum. Sarlang, thank you for coming. Hello, good evening. Thanks for inviting me. Uh, I'm, I'm so glad to be here. Mm, it's our pleasure. So, the Fine Arts Dunbazar Museum, founded in 1966, is named after the first religious leader and the most prominent figure in Renaissance arts of Mongolia, Undurgagin Dunbazar. So, to our viewers, how would you describe what makes the, the Fine Arts Dunbazar Museum stand out from other museums in Mongolia? Um, and the first thing makes famous in our museum is the name of Undurgagin Dunbazar. Mm -hmm. uh, in 1995, we became in the Fine Arts Dunbazar Museum. Mm -hmm. So we have, uh, our museum has a special hall consisting of Dunbazar's own works. Uh, and then our museum is preserving in exhibits, masterpieces of related mm -hmm. to uh, uh -huh. 20th century. The Nazar Museum was founded in 1966 mm -hmm. with an Mongolian National Art Gallery and Art Gallery was separated in 1989. Mm -hmm. And second thing is every museum has own functions. Uh, for example, Mongolian National Museum is, museum's exhibit is showing a chronology of history mm -hmm. and the Fine Arts Stanbazar Museum is only one Fine Arts Museum of Mongolia. Mm. And maybe people may think there is an art gallery, but actually art galleries exhibits are related to after 20th century. Mm. So the Fine Arts Museum was founded in 1966, but it was named after Undergegen Stanbazar in 1995. Yeah. And so you exhibit the artistic artifacts from the ancient times and also from the, uh, from the 18th to 20th century. And so uh, could you tell us more about the characteristics of the exhibits that are displayed at your museum? Um, so our museum has originally opened with 300 mm -hmm. objects, mm -hmm. but now it has 20,000 objects. Mm -hmm. About the 8% of exhibits mm -hmm. is related to 18th to 20th century. Mm -hmm. And 10% of exhibits is related to Paleolithic era, Hunnu, or Turk dynasty, mm -hmm. and 13th century. Mm -hmm. um, they are all easy, fine arts, mm -hmm. and we have paintings, apliku, tankas, famous coral masks, Mm -hmm. at your museum. Okay. So I uh, thank you. And uh, you started with 300 exhibits uh, and then now you have around uh, 20,000 exhibits. So uh, when you add a new exhibit into your museum, what do you focus on? What steps are taken uh, to preserve them and maintain them? Mm. So museum steps are exploring for sustainable mm -hmm. environment mm -hmm. and First thing when we adding new exhibition mm -hmm. is chronology, mm. history, revelation, and maniac. Okay, thank you. And uh, in nine, in 2019, the Your Museum introduced a new way to explore the museum with the AR technology. And also in 2012, you introduced the VR technology. And also people can explore the museum and look at the exhibits online on Google Arts and Culture. So on October 6th, you're going to, uh, hold, you're, you're going to hold a digital museum event. And could you tell us what the event is about? And also could you tell us about the difference between the AR technology and the VR technology? So in the year of 2019, we mm -hmm. introduced the augmented reality mm -hmm. in museum inst institution. So people don't know about an augmented reality enough. Mm -hmm. And um, due to pandemic days, uh, we have to work in online. Mm -hmm. uh, we have to educating people in, uh, educating people with the technology. Mm -hmm. And so, we want to showing people 
about the, our new technology mm -hmm. revolution. And uh, our museum has audio guide, mm -hmm. AR, VR, and QR. Mm -hmm. And most of the young people mm -hmm. do not interested in museum. Mm -hmm. uh, so we want to, uh, everyone now is seeing own phones and laptops use always used in technology mm -hmm. and so a museum has to be interested for everyone mm -hmm. so about the digital museum events we are co-organizing digital solutions and jacks and coffee mm -hmm. uh, digital solutions is made by all technology of our museums so uh, one of the biggest project of last year in digital solutions is uh, digital harharum. Uh, if you come today in our events, you can watch in our digital harharum project. Museum. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then digital museum events is held by outside. So due to this is October 6th and maybe outside will be cold mm -hmm. and you can get in coffee and mm -hmm. We are partnering in Jackson Coffee, mm -hmm. and VR is a virtual, virtual environment. AR is a augment, augmented environment, mm -hmm. and our museum AR technology is used the glasses, mm -hmm. and people wear the glasses and see the display, and there is a, some kind of animations, faint, uh, pictures, and people can hear sounds. Mm -hmm. Can hear the descriptions? Yeah. Yeah. Descriptions, uh -huh. explains. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, so how many gl uh, air glasses do you have at the museum? So like how many people can uh, explore the museum uh, I I using the technology at the same time? So we have only four glasses at mm -hmm. this time. Mm -hmm. So maybe after we get more glasses. So in the one time, only we have to receive for people. Mm -hmm. yes. So when one uh, like visitor is exploring the museum using the glasses, the AR technology, like how many hours uh, does it take for like one person to explore the museum? Uh, so AR technology glasses has have, have information, mm -hmm. information about the 30 exhibitions. Mm -hmm. So maybe spent one hour, 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. I think. Mm -hmm. One hour and 30 minutes. Yeah. Okay, thank you. So, uh, so what was the reason, like, why uh, you decide to uh, launch the Digital Museum event? Uh, so, past two years, mm -hmm. uh, people in Mongolia, people mm -hmm. were in quarantine yeah, quite, due to mm -hmm. pandemic. And I, I just said we want to more than introduce about our technologies. Mm -hmm. And so um, people don't know enough about AR mm -hmm. in the museum. Mm -hmm. Maybe they know AR in the game, AR in the shop, and, but actually how AR is working on the museum. So mm -hmm. we want to showing people this. Uh -huh. So, uh, is this event free for everyone? This event is free, but actually people can come join us and watch the 3D animation by one day of Mongolia. Mm -hmm. But actually people want to see AR VR, uh, they have to pay 20,000 tobruks. Um, the money uh, raised mm -hmm. for the event will be used at children's education event. Mm -hmm in the museums. Ah, okay. so our museum made the 3D animation about the one day of Mongolia painted by Sharov mm -hmm. uh, in the Korea. Mm -hmm. And we, we want to show people in, in background hall um, mm -hmm. in this 3D animations. Ah. Yeah. And we have a book sale. And uh, this is our museum exhibits catalog will Selling on there. Uh -huh. uh, so there will be a, like uh, the book on about the uh, catalog of the e exhibition. 
So what kind of catalog are there? The Fine Arts Sandwasser Museum installing new exhibition from 2010 years to mm -hmm. until now. Mm -hmm. We have 20 exhibition catalog. So we are selling these catalogs. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, so um, I've seen that the Fine Arts Sandwasser Museum has received the highest number of positive uh, reviews and stars on TripAdvisor, uh, the, one of the world's largest review platforms in the tourism industry. And I believe that one factor that contributed to the success of the, uh, the Fine Arts Sandwasser Museum is the active partnership with other uh, international organizations, such as you work with UNESCO on preservation of the priceless exhibits that you show at the museum. And also the museum provides free audio guide and this project was supported by the Prince Claus Fund. So what more can you tell us about the partnerships and the efforts to upgrade the museum activities? So we have profiles on every year. Mm -hmm. So last year in 2019 we created an augmented reality mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. we are planet to next year get a new application for a mobile AI. application yeah mobile uh -huh. application so if people um, if we made this application people can use own phone and mm -hmm. and scan scan one kind of QR code mm -hmm. and see the our museum exhibition exhibitions animate and more pictures and more, no more information. Mm -hmm. so, and it's working for free. Uh -huh. So when will the mobile application be ready? Uh, we are now want started. Mm -hmm. mm, maybe we will start next year uh -huh. in twenty twenty two. Okay, so does the museum collaborate with other museums uh, in Mongolia and uh, do you often have like this workshop and share your know-how to other museums? Every museum has interconnected, mm -hmm. uh, hold on the meetings, sharing new ideas mm -hmm. and we are always been happy to partnership in other museums. In July we conducted and trainings about digital technology with for in local and city museums. Uh -huh. So uh, now the Harhor Museum is also available to be uh, to be visited using the AR technology and also your the Fine Arts Tanbazir Museum. And what uh, and are there any other museums in Mongolia that are actually using those technologies? So, um, in the two years ago, we our first museum was interested in this technology. Mm -hmm. Now, museums, every museum is interested about this AR technology and asking our museums how to be create this. Mm -hmm. And now, is Har Har Museum is creating. Mm -hmm. oh, I don't know about it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so now, there are uh, two museums mm -hmm. uh -huh, that are using the technologies. So. And there will be more in the future. Mm. Uh. Yes, yeah, I hope so. Mm -hmm. uh, we, virtual reality technology is very famous. Mm -hmm. uh, Bogut, Bogut King's Palace Museum mm -hmm. and Church and Lama Temple Museum and Mongolian National Museums are Mongolian using in virtual reality. Mm -hmm. So virtual reality is already, already developed. Uh -huh. yeah, yeah. But the augmented reality is mm -hmm. not very yeah. uh, popular. Uh -huh. So the Digital Museum event is going to be held on October 6th and also after that uh, are you going to hold this event regularly and also if there's a, even on a regular day can a visitor come to your museum and use the AR glasses? Yeah, sure. Um, AR glasses are have in our museum so people pay Mm -hmm. Pay 20, to twenty thousand euros uh -huh. and watch in our museum with an AR technology. On the digital museum events created again, no, again from November first to November 
31. Uh, every day? Every day, ah, yeah. Okay. So on, uh, like this month on October 6th and next month from November 1st to November 21st. Yeah. Uh -huh. and, uh, and Ministry of Culture mm -hmm. is decided in November is a cultural month. Uh -huh. And everyone can watch free for in our technologies. In mm -hmm. it to November. Uh, so if you visit the museum uh, from November 1st to November 21st, then the event is free. Yeah. Uh -huh. So uh, looking ahead, what uh, are the future objectives of the museum? Uh, what is your main aim you want to achieve in the future? So we are aimed to get in national status. Mm -hmm. What does that mean? In the Mongolia, has an only one national museum. Mm -hmm. This is Mongolian National History Museum. Mm -hmm. So the Fine Arts Zanbazar Museum is only one Fine Arts Museum. So why, why we can can't get in national status? Mongolian mm -hmm. so National Fine Arts Museum, yeah. Zanbazar Museum. Yeah. We are aiming to achieve Zanbazar's Mongolian National Fine Arts Museum. Ah, the status. So, uh, our time is coming to an end, unfortunately. So, what final message do you have for our audience? Everyone who watching this show, uh, please come to in our digital museum events. Mm -hmm. And our museum door is always been open to everyone. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much, Salanga, for coming to our studio and explain us about the digital museum event. It has been a very informative talk. Okay, thank you so much. Thanks for inviting me. You've watched Sideline. Our today's guest was Ms. Salanga Tako, head of the Foreign Relations and PR Department at the Fine Arts Dunbazar Museum. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.